let's go to number one and arguably perhaps the biggest debate I have with uh, with customers um, very often and uh, with companies where I give training is about Illustrator and uh, treating Illustrator as an editing tool. Let's be very blunt and very direct about this. Illustrator is not a PDF editor. Yes, you can open PDFs with Illustrator and yes, uh, I know this is a very widely used practice, especially in certain market segments. And I understand why people sometimes uh, do it. But Illustrator is not a PDF editor. It was not invented at that. It's not marketed as that. If you talk to people at Adobe, then they will tell you as much uh, as well. And there are very good reasons why it is not. And you can see some of them on there. The first one, and perhaps the most important, is that a lot of PDF constructs are not supported. So if you have a PDF file that has certain things in it, especially the more advanced uh, PDF uh, constructions that you can have in, in, in modern files, then and you open them in Illustrator, uh, there is a, a pretty high chance that you'll get an error message that says, I don't understand this. And if you go through anyway, then Illustrator will either replace it with something that is hopefully similar or it will simply delete what you had in the uh, in the file so that is a very big reason why you shouldn't use illustrator as a as a pdf editor second thing is that and it's linked a little bit to the first but not completely is that you can't have documents with mixed color spaces so in pdf uh, a PDF document does not have a color space. It can have multiple objects with multiple color spaces. I can have a PDF that has spot colors, CNYK, RGB, LAB, all in the same document without any problem. And it can even be PDF X4 compliant at the same time. So it doesn't have to be a bad PDF file necessarily. If you open that in Illustrator, you're going to have to choose. And that means that half your file is probably going to be converted to the color space that you choose. So that's another very dangerous thing. The reason that so many people think that, PDF, that Illustrator can be used and should be used to edit PDF files is because of the very unfortunate decision that Adobe made to um, pretend that you can save an Illustrator document as a PDF and nothing is lost. And the only reason that works is because Illustrator saves the original Illustrator document into a PDF file. And then when you reopen it, it throws away the PDF file basically and picks out the document inside. And um, that happens. And that means that if I create something in Illustrator and I want to round trip it, so save it as PDF and then reopen it in Illustrator, I will get back my Illustrator file. But in a generic PDF file that wasn't created with Illustrator in the first place, it is simply not safe to edit it with Illustrator. And I want to um, show you two things here. And let's see whether we can do that. So uh, the first one is, you'll notice that, uh, if you can still see my, uh, my screen here, you'll notice that I have a document on here uh, that talks about uh, ostriches, which is kind of strange because there is a penguin in there as well. But if I go to Illustrator now, and I take that document and I open it. Now, this dialog box is very easily discarded or dismissed by people, but what it says is very, very valid. What it says is, watch out, this document has been edited outside of Illustrator. And if you, you basically have a choice. You can discard the changes that happened outside of Illustrator, but then you might have some problem with uh, compatibility, or you can keep the changing the changes. And then, uh, as it says, reducing Illustrator editing capabilities. What that means is you might lose a whole bunch in your file. So if I click OK anyway, um, I also get a, uh, a color uh, warning here, but we're going to ignore this. Yeah, so now look very carefully. This is my PDF file on the one hand, and in Illustrator you see the same file that was opened um, in, in Illustrator. 
Yeah. So what happened was the file was created in Illustrator. I saved it as a PDF with compatibility um, enabled. And then I used a PDF editor, Acrobat in this case, to edit the PDF file outside of Illustrator. And when you reopen it, you have to choose whether you have Illustrator reopen the original Illustrator file, and then I would get um, ostriches again, or whether it uh, takes the, um, the, the stuff from the PDF. So you end up with two versions of the truth, and it's very hard sometimes to discover who is right in a, in a, in a discussion like that. Yeah. The other thing, uh, and I'm doing this rather quickly because we're otherwise going to run out of time. So let me close this one and open this other file. Um, okay. So open this up. This is the other problem that is very common. What I opened is part of the uh, GAMP PDF uh, output suite. And the message that you can see here says an unknown imaging construct was encountered. So basically this PDF file that I have contains construct constructs that are not understood by Illustrator. And if I open it, it also has mixed color spaces, by the way, so I have to choose one there. If I open it, I have absolutely no idea what happened now because I got a warning that uh, something was not supported. It doesn't tell me, Illustrator doesn't tell me which objects were not supported, which constructs were not supported in the file. So I have no idea how close this document is now to what I had in my uh, PDF document. So that essentially is uh, the problem that um, that you have in this uh, in this first case. Now I understand that in many cases you will want to edit a PDF file, or there is there there is going to be a moment that you want to edit a PDF file. But I would implore you at that point to use something that was made for that. Yeah, there are different ways you can you can deal with PDF files. You can open it in Acrobat, and there is some uh, granted limited editing there. You can open it in other tools uh, that do autom automated fixing, such as PDF Toolbox or um, Pitstop. You can open it with uh, Pitstop Pro inside of Acrobat, and then do object editing that will not destroy the rest of the document. So. If you have the need to edit a PDF, you can, just undo it with Illustrator.